What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and pick up the new mini pack CMP555 Drums inspired by Jay-Z's 444 album um, Alright, so speaking of midi packs I want to make this video for um, folks who are new to production and you know see you know watch tutorials and and, and they buy midi packs usually midi packs are cheaper than loot packs and um, uh, just to explain to you guys what midi is and how it works what midi is is midi is simply um, it's an on and off switch right so if you create an instrument track all right and this instrument track has no instruments on it, right? So I'm playing, there's nothing there. What all the MIDI is, it's a signal that tells this key to go to turn on when you click when you click on the um, on the grid. And no matter how long you hold it out, it says turn on for for that duration. And when it is not when those notes are not present, there's nothing there, right? So that's all MIDI is. MIDI is not audio. If you buy a MIDI pack, you're not buying sounds. If you buy a MIDI pack, you are not buying sounds. If you buy a MIDI pack, you're not buying MIDI sounds. You're just buying on and off information. Now, the first thing that you have to do when you buy a product um, from my site or anybody's site for that matter is you have to download it. And it's going to come either in zip format or it's going to come in dot rar format in order to open these files you need to uncompress them um to open a, to open a dot rar file just go to youtube type in dot rar expander and download a free uh dot rar expander i use on my mac i use stuff it expander and on my pc i use winrar both of them are free both of them work fine. So once you've downloaded that, you'll see that um, when you right click on it, you just click extract files, right? So you click extract files. It'll ask you, you know, what to do. Um, just click OK, go with the default settings. And then when you do that, you will you'll have a regular folder that you can go in and go inside the MIDI information. Now if I take um, if I take this kick information right and I drag it onto the arrange window studio one is automatically going to make me a track that has that has that information but if you if you pay attention to what's going on here you see there's no instrument all right in my in my brand new blank session I have no instrument if you guys aren't working with a template with stuff loaded up you're not gonna have any sound so what you need to do here nothing right that doesn't mean that the product is broken or you know your DAW is broken or anything what that means you have to do is you need to go to your instruments or however however I've I've shown you know numerous different ways on how to load drums um, for my purposes, I have I have my own custom presets, so I can go ahead and just drag and just drag this kick preset here. Now, when I press play, all right, so that's that. So, say I had another um, another MIDI pack that I wanted to use the uh, the zoned MIDI pack, and. You know, say I wanted to use this dark bell preset, and I and I dragged it over into the arrange window. Again, you're not gonna hear anything. You have to get you have to get a VST. Let's see. You need to grab a VST, drag it on to the track. Shut up. And then select a patch. And then you could play it. Right. Now, 
this this is the same for any DAW. This is in Machine, Ableton, Pro Tools. If you just drag MIDI onto the Arrange window and, and you open up a blank instrument track, nothing is going to happen. You need to make sure that you have an instrument loaded and then drag it on to the Arrange window. So... I hope this helped you guys out who are new who are new to production and you know maybe you've bought a midi pack and you're not sure how to get the sound out don't freak out nothing's broken you just need to make sure that you have something that can play sound because remember midi just trigger sound it's not actual audio so it's a cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one